So we made two buttons to make one object on and off. But we also can create some toggle buttons over here. So just making one button to make object on and off. Just go to the canvas and right click. You will see UI and toggle. So you will see the, this toggle button over here. Well, it's a bit small, so I want to increase the size. Select background. Increase it. So background, I'd like to make it 100 by 100. Check mark as well. 100 by 100. And then we want to anchor point in at left bottom corner again. And let's move the toggle text, which is label right now. I just want to keep the uh, toggle text, but within capital toggle and change the color to white and around 30 or 40. And we also can change the alignment inside of here. So now we have the toggle button over here. So if you want to make it uh, better, of course, you can change the check mark over here. So uh, maybe we want to have the, uh, the circle and let's make it blue. So we can we know that we're going to turn on and off the blue button. I mean, blue cube and then background select this. Maybe I'd like to have some kind of blue background, right blue background. So now it's kind of, yeah, I mean, blue series over here. So all we need to do is select the toggle and then go down here on value change it, add the function and select the blue cube over here and then go to the function game object. You need to be careful. There is a set active inside of the dynamic pool and set active under the uh, static parameters. This time for toggle, we need to have dynamic boolean set active so select it since it is dynamic which is toggle button so it's not asking the enable or disable so every setup is done just save it if you play it and then just click the toggle buttons you will see it's going to be turned on and off by toggling